is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is what theory says that the planets came from dust and gas. So the solar system uh, remaining theory is the solar nebula theory and this theory begins with let's say you have a spherical cloud or an irregular cloud in space and then somewhere from space comes a shock wave. Most likely the shock wave comes from a supernova or some type of explosion in, in the nearby. And this shock wave travels through the nebula cloud, which is actually made out of gas and dust. So this molecular cloud gets kind of disturbed by this shock wave. And what happens is it becomes gravitationally unstable. And all this gravitational uh, energy gets transformed into heat, and this sets the cloud in motion. So this very large cloud that is now gravitationally unstable is going to start compensating for this gravitational instability, and it's going to start conserving, uh, conserving its momentum. So the angular momentum, uh, L, generally goes as proportional to the radius square and how fast is spinning, like the, the period is spinning. So that means that if your cloud, if the radius is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller, it has to rotate a lot faster in order to conserve this momentum. So in order for L not to change, uh, and R is changing, this has to get higher. So that means that the cloud will start to spin. And this spinning is actually going to flatten the cloud into sort of a disk. And then most of the mass is going because of the compression uh, is going to concentrate at the center and this is generally where you get the protostar. So in our solar system the sun came from the protostar and the gases came from the disk. So you have all this gas and dust accumulating everywhere and colliding. They become bigger and bigger and bigger. Eventually you form a star at the center once the conditions are right for fusion. So you get the sun. And then what happens is that you have all this disk that is still spinning. And during collisions, the, the clumps get larger and larger because they're acquiring uh, mass from collisions. And what happens is that they become a planetesimal. So this planetesimal is like they're small enough, but they're now, they now have a gravitational field. So like anything nearby is going to actually feel it. So it has accumulated enough mass mass in the disk that is actually now gra not gravitationally insignificant. So what happens is still has the, the spinning motion around the center and it's going to sort of clean out the orbit. So it starts accumulating everything that is orbiting nearby. And this is how we form planets in the disk. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is how planets form from gas and dust.